Hi, I'm Bruce, and this is my family, Annie, Elsie, Betsy and Doug. And over a year ago, we quit the rat race in search for simple, fulfilling and more sustainable life. Follow us on our learning journey towards living off-grid, self-sufficiency and cottage renovations. Hey everyone, and welcome back. Um, I just got back from retreat, feeling very rejuvenated and ready to go. So Christmas is obviously on the way, and Annie wants nothing more than a warm bath. And so our good friend Karul has very kindly given me a cast iron bath, and uh, we've figured out where we're going to put it, and we're going to make a wood-fired bath. Um, I'm thinking that this version is maybe not going to be the completely finished one because Annie's got this target of having a bath before I think Christmas um, so this is going to be like Mark 1 and then maybe Mark 2 will be done in the spring but we'll see how it turns out anyway. Let's go! Okay, it is, uh, it's a little bit sketchy taking it there with the tractor. I've got no ballast on the back. So although the lift can easily take the weight, you may have noticed that my back wheels were kind of lifting off the ground a little bit there. And it's quite uneven terrain uh, where we're going to put it. So I think we're going to have to do this the old fashioned way, guys. <laughs> so heavy. Oh. I think we need to lift this end more than that end. Okay. Yeah, this is the way, guys. Admiring the view. This'll do me. 
any more to add other than that? I think I'd even have a cold bath at this stage. You would, no way. All right, we'll hold you to that. <laughs> Everybody, you heard it here first, I'm going to put cold water in and then I'll have the hot no! water. No, you are not. <laughs> this is my Christmas present. Okay, so the sun is setting and moving this bath has taken me a lot longer than I thought it ever would. I have lifted one of these things before, and I don't know if you have, but they are unbelievably heavy. But built to last, so... Uh, that's the important thing. I'm going to leave this here till tomorrow now, so um, I'm going to go in and get some food and energise myself for more hauling around of this bath. God, I waffle on a bit, didn't I? Morning, everybody. Bit of an early start today. See, it's dark outside, but it's a perfect time for Annie to be getting her sourdough started. So it's like an all day process, on and off anyway. So we'll do that and then we'll get outside and get cracking with the bath as soon as the sun comes up. It takes a long time to make but it is so worth it. Tastes absolutely amazing. Maybe you'll get to see it at the end of this vlog. the starter. Why? <laughs> so it keeps growing and producing its own yeasty goodness. <laughs> Now we wait for eight hours. Eight hours? <laughs> okay, so we're getting back on with the bath now, and uh, if I'm being totally honest, I'm not 100% sure how we're going to do it. Having a bit of a chat last night about maybe doing it out of carb, but it feels like the wrong, kind, uh, wrong time of year to be building things out of carb. And we do have quite a bit of stone, so I think the way we're going to try it now, which uh, if you've seen anything that I do is always a little bit kind of freehand, we're going to like prop it up onto some bits of timber at the right height and then we're going to get some stone and kind of shape the combustion chamber I guess and then take a step back and make a decision then as to how we're going to finish it off. So let's get on with that and we'll see what it looks like. My wristwatch is broken, my shoes are untied, time is a ticking, and so is the time. But I am not worrying, things are what they are, come rain or come shine or a shooting star. I've been to the south, I've been to the north, east and the west, the middle of course. I may have been astray, but I've never been lost, never been beat by the road I've crossed. I guess I've been lucky. To some degree For someone who ate All the food from the tree the Stars been aligned And my goose hanging high I'll be okay In the sweet by and by Okay, so after a little bit of faffing about um, We've changed our minds how we're going to do it So I'm going to clear all this grass Kind of cut it back to soil level. I'm just going to level it off 
uh, with a bit of stone and then a bit of sand. Put these blocks down uh, and then kind of get the bath level and then, then make a decision what we're going to do next. <laughs> Close to it as we kind of get, just lifting it like an inch off the ground and across. Okay, up, up. I can't. Oh my god! I tell you what, if we can't do it, I'm going to have to risk taking the tractor down there, which maybe will be less of a risk now that I've got a bathtub strapped to the front of it. No, no, no. Okay, go for it, go for it. Go for it. Up, up, up. Fuck okay, where'd you get that strength from? This tide's like... It's not a liar! <laughs> and you couldn't lift it an inch off the you can't ground over here, but you can apparently lift it like <gasps> over a foot above the ground. You know what? We're not quite there yet, so we'll have to deal with that in a minute. Ah. Okay, so we're going to try an experimental cob mix just to bed the bath down onto the bricks. And, uh, never done this before, so... Cob experts, let us know how wrong we've got this. Especially as we're going to be doing more cobbing after this, so, you know, this little tiny bit, if it's not quite right, we can have a better go. Okay, so... Okay, so the light is almost gone. This camera's actually doing well to see in the dark. Uh, the bath is on the blocks, and we're just putting it onto a bed of cob. Seems to be pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to kind of fill around the edges and leave this here till tomorrow, and then have a think tonight about uh, how we're going to finish it off. But it's level. You could probably put water in it and light a little fire under it. So one way or the other, Annie's having a bath before Christmas. <laughs> Annie's sourdough part two. Ding ding! Thank you.
Okay, so it's Friday morning, the sourdough is finished, and we need to keep cracking with this bath so that I can have something to edit together for you guys this week. Ah, uh, so annoying. So, uh, behind me, I don't know if you can see there, I've got an old, rotten old stove. And basically, um, I was going to be cutting the front off that to make a nice decorative little opening with doors for Annie's bath. But uh, my grinder's packed in. Makita grinder, as you well know, I use all Makita tools. That's not because I'm sponsored by them, it's just because those are the batteries that I've got. And uh, yeah, it's burnt itself out, and I've tried getting the brushes out of it, but they've actually melted themselves to the inside of the grinder. So I need a new grinder, and I can't carry on any further. So I'm just going to go move a few stones and uh, kind of get everything in place. And then there's going to be a bath build part two. So it's a bit sad that my grinder's broke, but Annie has brought us out the sourdough. Medicine sourdough. Madison Saturday. <laughs> Look at that. Let's go. Assist me getting in, I just think I'll be alright. As long as you don't lean on the side, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I... Okay, so that's everything done now, as far as I can get it anyway, to get this video out on time. Uh, we're going to be carrying on after this video gets uploaded. And he's off out now, shopping for the bits that we were missing. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more videos. And uh, we'll catch you when we finally finish this thing off. See you next week. Yeah.